Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make an energy lightning effect inside the wheels in After Effects. First of all we will need to mask the wheel, to mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha, select an elliptical tool and mask the rim as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and click on tracking button. If the mask moves, stop there and make sure to correct the mask and then track it again. Once the tracking is done, click on save and then close Mocha AE. Expand mat now and click on create AE masks, then press M on your keyboard and check inverted to invert the mask. Now duplicate your clip and select bottom layer and make sure to delete the mask and Mocha AE from that layer. Select top layer and let's rename it to mask, so we will know which is masked layer. Now time to add some energy lightning footage, check this video's description to download the lightning that I've used for this tutorial. Make sure to move energy layer below mask layer. As you see the lightning is inside the wheel and we have to adjust the effect a bit to make it look better and we are done. First let's reposition it and then make energy layer a bit smaller. That looks better. Now I will duplicate energy layer, then move it up a bit and then right click on it. Go to transform and select flip horizontal. Reposition duplicated one on your wish and let's check it again. That's already better. Now let's add a tint effect on one of the lightning layers and then change map white to any color you want. Let's add a glow effect, I will use a deep glow plugin. Let's decrease the exposure a bit and then copy that glow and paste on another energy layers. That looks way better. Now if you zoom, you will see that the edge of the rim is so harsh, let's fix it really quick. Select mask layer and press F on your keyboard to open masks feather. I will change mask feather to around 2, that looks smoother and better now. Let's quickly check it and then add some more effects. That's cool, but I want the effect to begin a bit later, let's move both energy layers a bit forward. Let's check it. That's better to me. Let's add some shakes now, I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. That's way better, now I will add one more effect that will create a blurry rotation on the wheel. Let's duplicate mask layer, select bottom mask layer and make sure to move it below energy layers. Rename that layer to wheel only and then uncheck inverted. If you solo this layer you will see that we have only a masked wheel layer. Let's keep it solo for a while now, it will be easy to make an effect on it. Scroll to the moment where you want the blurry rotating effect to start and then add CC radial blur effect on that layer. Move center position to the very center of your wheel only layer. Now click on center stopwatch icon and then scroll to the end of that layer and correct the anchor point, make sure it's centered. Now scroll back to the moment where you want the effect to start from and change quality to 100 and then change type to rotate. Now click on amount stopwatch icon, then scroll to the end of wheel layer and change amount until you are satisfied with the blurriness. Let's unsolo wheel only layer and then check the effect. Nice, everything looks smooth and perfect. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.